afternoon. My name is Sabrina Winger and I am the STEM teacher here at Blanchett Elementary. I also teach kindergarten. <laughs> and today I'm going to show you two of the members of my team and what they are working on. They are having a Lego challenge. They were instructed to take Legos and create something that would help solve a problem that is relevant for today. So I'm going to show you, show them to you. So what are you guys doing? I'm just building whatever. Does this mean like a phone? Well, it can be whatever creation you need it to be. It looks like a bed right now. These are nice. your creations. Here is our board. You see, Janaya has created the COVID cancelers, a mobile vaccination unit, and Keyshawn has created the overflow. An overflow pop-up unit to provide more beds for hospitals uh tell me about yours well mine they go to people who sick and they try to help them to make sure they're okay or if they just need help with their kids or anything and just make sure that they're all right and safe and healthy all right and let's go see it uh how did they become a mobile vaccination unit well first they had lived on a farm with their family but then one of them had invested in the coronavirus so his their little brother whose name joe had took care of them but then one day one of their farm foods were bad and so they had invested in this their little they local. invested what did they invest in they, the vaccine or yeah the vaccine so are they giving out the vaccine like going around giving it to people at their houses or i guess teacher go um the overflow is an overflow pop-up unit to provide more beds for hospitals why why would the hospitals need more beds because the, the other hospitals might run out of beds so they might need to transfer other people to another hospital are there a lot of people getting sick yes good and this is Keyshawn Nisby thank you so much Keyshawn for your creation there and I appreciate it thank you